Today's video is going to be about a Hot Wheels toy. I found this, interestingly enough, in an op shop a month or two ago now. And I'd seen this for sale in the shops back when it was new, some years ago. And I finally found this one second hand. Here's the fun part. $2.25. The other interesting thing is, it doesn't work. So I thought, why not try to fix it? Now, prior to the actual video, I did test this again and I can show you the what's it not doing. So just make sure you put the batteries in, in the correct polarity and you're not breaking the tabs. And the screen doesn't light up when you do anything. So, first thing I'm going to try is probing it. And as with electronics, it's always a good idea to make sure you probe everything. Just to make doubly sure it's all working. This being a children's toy, it may have been smacked around a lot and something internally may have been damaged. Uh, over here is positive, over there is negative. So we're getting zero volts. And we're getting zero volts. Which doesn't seem right. So... That is pretty interesting. Well, to begin with, <coughs> let's pull it apart. Let's see if we can not take a look underneath this. These batteries do currently work, actually. I have fired them up in another device, so I do know that they are working, but I have also tried a second set of batteries and they haven't worked. Uh. cover aside. Uh, you gotta love that nice snap sound when you undo the first screw. Can you see where I'm laying the battery? Oh, the, yep, yes you can. Now the first problem I'm gonna come across is getting out these little tiny plastic covers. They're designed Well, I'm guessing they're just aesthetically there to stop the look from all the screws. They look like they've been glued in. Oof. It's not going to help me. Okay, um, bit of a challenge. Oh, oh shame I don't have a second one of these I can test out on, but oh well. Give a little bit of lever action. And this is not about keeping its original look for value or whatever later on, despite the fact that it may be worth a bit of money, who cares? Now, do I have a better? Nope. Wow. I wonder why they didn't go with just rubber ones. 
usually a lot easier to dig out. Let's totally destroy this one. Oof, nasty. There it goes. And what do we got? Yeah, that's got glue all the way down that. I am not getting these out without being able to put them back properly. So it's just bring this up closer to the camera. As you can see, that mess there is glue. So it's uh yeah, they're really glued in tight. I think I just Yeah, I'm going to have to do this one off camera for a bit. I don't want to break the handle. Okay, that one came out a little easier. So how many are these? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. This is going to be a while. funny this wasn't thrown out to the uh, tip it was sent to an op shop so I wonder if it left the original owner's place working or if it was just put in with trash who knows Plasticky smell with this. It's a really weird smell. All right, that one easily popped off. It'd be nice if they were more like this. You, know, you just slap them out, but obviously not. And I can't see. Let's use the camera for this. Hmm. As you can see, I'm really tearing the thing apart. Not leaving it cleanly. I'm surprised I didn't just. Oh, wait, if they just had it uh, clipped together, it would have fallen apart if it got smashed up or something. This is definitely kid safe. Well, until they decide to smack each other around the face with it. <clears throat> and it's not gonna be so pretty. I remember I was on a bus one day and some little kid must have been two years old, maybe three. Anyway, no, it would have been three or four, sorry. Kid got up, had the person, had its mother's uh, phone in its hand, and it just literally slapped it, slapped their mother across the face. And I, I remember sitting there just stumped. She barely reacted to it. And this plastic is actually quite hard. It literally took out the... <laughs> I lost another bit. Yeah, at the moment I'm missing two from this set. So, I think this was the... F this would have been the first one I bought on eBay. I got a new one, but that... 
yeah, the screws in that thing are very fragile. Well, at least the drivers are. If I had a proper drill, I'd be drilling this thing out. <laughs> yeah, look. A little bit of metal. Snapped off this. Will you zoom in? Will you... Yeah, see, there you go, it's snapped off. <sighs> the joys are using an iPhone for this. Okay, I definitely butchered that again on this one. Geez, how are these going to come out? Yeah, a lot better than the others did. There it goes. Yeah, there's not going to be any resale value on this, even if it is working. Seriously wondering what this uses on the inside. I mean, out here it points out that it's a 10.525 gigahertz. So it's going to be uh, something you want to be in front of when you fire it off. Well, once or twice might be okay, but repetitively it's not going to be good for you. As you can see, I'm all over the place right now. I've done a lot of reading, I've got a couple of documentaries, I've done a video show of something based on planned obsolescence and this. Well, this is literally planned obsolescence at its best. Make it near impossible to repair your product. But then something like this, it's really only a temporary toy. Yep. Alright, so what screws can I get out? Ah, I love that snap sound. As long as the whole thing doesn't break apart, then I'm happy. Let's get the other one on this handle. But you know what? We're already 15 minutes into this and I've just made a mess. <laughs> Ooh, that's not good. The screw's not coming out, the whole thing's separating. There we go. So let's take these two backs off. We should be able to get a good view on the inside of this. Huh, different sized screw. Uh, you do it. Just grabbing this bit. Yes! I still haven't gotten around to buying that thread locker. I really should look at getting my hands on some of it. 
I mean, I did recently make a rather nice product. Although, looking at it, if I had a bit more uh, time to think, I could have actually done it a little lot better. <laughs> well, version one. Okay, so it's got the outer ring off. And it's still, hmm, I wonder if components actually failed on the inside of this thing. All right, that's causing some problems. Just try to move it off. So I can jimmy this out. Is jimmy an inappropriate word to use nowadays? I don't know. Uh, let's give myself some extra light here. There we go, that's better. Yeah, this looks like a lost cause. And my thumb was in a really dangerous spot there. I'm just digging inside that. screwed a lot of this up. I mean sacrificially if I had to I could get a cutter slice down the middle of this and only come in contact with those screws. Yeah that's not coming out. Am I even going to get this open? I don't think so. This is a bit depressing. Hmm. This is rather depressing. Hmm. Do I have to or can I? If these two weren't screwed up, I could potentially have just needed to take out these two screws to get this panel out. But it looks like that's not going to be how things go. Now, well, you know what? I want to see if I can get inside this. I'm going to pause it for a moment. Hang on. I'm going to take that front off. So I need a little square. Nope, too small. Next size up. There we go. Nope. Still too small. There we go. Is it coming out? Oh no, there's two still at the front here. All right, let's try this. Didn't notice these two at the front here. I'm gonna to try to remove those. See if they'll come out. 
I need to get some kind of internal view at this thing. You know, it'd be really funny if this is a dangerous toy for a child, but it wasn't made public. No, I just besides anything with radio frequency and kids don't mix very well. Over time. Yeah, that's not going to happen. Man, I am majorly butchering this thing. You know what? I'm going to pause this video here and I'm going to use a hacksaw. Oh, here's a hacksaw. If I had a proper workbench, I'd be using a vise, but I don't have that, so. You know what? I'm overthinking this. Um, I'm gonna stop the hacksaw. And I'm now officially back. What did I do? Smashed it with a rock. I would actually been a lot back a bit sooner, but next on my next door neighbors had a bit of a problem with their security system. As in, sounds like the kid of theirs turned it off, and they didn't know how to turn it off. It's also nice that they had the default code, otherwise I would have had to grab a screwdriver and go over there. How you get into the damn box and turn the thing off. So this is interesting. It's not going to be reusable. Might be able to get some parts out of it, but anybody wanting to know what the inside looks like? Well, yeah, finally found out. I guess this is the reason why they call it a radar gun. So that is just one giant piece. Hmm. That's fun. Yeah. Anyway, next door their alarm was going off. And, oh boy, that thing's loud. But it goes on for more than a few minutes, or at least someone's alarm, either someone's broken into the flat or usually here, someone's triggered it and they don't know how to turn it off. Now, I smashed it with a rock, there's a good chance that I broke that. So you'd have the transmitter here. I can show you in the inside of this. So that's just a directional antenna. With its triggering mechanism down in here. And the more I pull this apart. Okay, so we got that apart. Now let's see if I can wire this thing up manually. Might as well try to fire it up.
So I guess this means we'll have to use these. Uh, I'm going to have that pointing in that direction so it doesn't, you know, shoot at me. But we'll go yellow as red. There's a switch here. Oh, that was a trigger. <laughs> huh, looks like you have to hold it in. Okay. That don't matter right now. So we need to go red for positive. Green for negative to black. Pop in some batteries. Uh, that's off camera. Okay. So the switch I was referring to is this one on the side here, which I'm guessing would have been for the trigger. Pop in my batteries. Put this up. And we're not getting a thing. Hmm. Let's try to free the input map. complicated than I thought. Anyway, back to my original idea. Interesting, it's got battery plus and minus up there as well. Oh, right. So it's definitely the red and black we need to another one of these. Now I need to link those two together. And we can use white. Okay, let's see if this works now. So we got 5 volts going into this thing. And still nothing. Side of the board. 
This should work. Okay, so that's also not working. So, I throw this out. And a whole bunch of this junk. Actually, I'll keep that. A 10.25, 10.525 gigahertz. You know, the funny thing is, this is probably is going to be as reliable as the uh, police cameras. The actual ones they deployed. <laughs> you get a lot of that. Man, those guys just screw up. I mean, how could a fence be traveling at 100 miles an hour? Or 100 kilometers an hour, sorry. It's kilometers in Australia. I keep screwing up because of American television. Ooh, nice trigger. Disconnect that. Take these batteries out. So, the way I see it, I've done everything I possibly could. Well, let's see if it's the actual batteries. And apart from my rather aggressive damage, probably not a good idea to use a screwdriver to remove a battery, but then again, I just did. Don't follow me. Let's see what happens. Let's take this apart even more. So, I see one, two, three screws in this. See how messy it's gotten here. Yikes. Actually, I'm going to go put these back first. I don't know, there's some weird smell in my flat at the moment. I could smell it out in the hallway as well. Well, not my hallway, but the stairwell for the building I'm in. Found out my neighbor, it might be coming from my neighbors because they have something burning on the stove. I got a lot of people. I've got a lot of people looking at me right watching this video and just shaking their head. Oh, there's another one. I mean, something to check would be if any of these capacitors have shorted out, but. You are kidding me. <laughs> 80 mega 88. 20 AU. Ooh. What are you? Hold on, I'm going to go grab something I can zoom in on that. Okay. Uh, 
it doesn't look like it's been a fail there. Now, I'm actually surprised they're using an Atmel uh, IC. Those things are damn expensive. I mean, PICs are so much cheaper. So we've got an 80 mega 88, 20 AU. We have a 3307, no idea what that is. Uh, what are these two? C7EU. Uh, this is a C7E. HY4D Zener diode uh, LCD output Wow, this looks like it is really packed in. I mean, woof Whole bunch of resistors So what's actually generating the frequency then? No, nah, that's cool. A <laughs> little LCD. But I have no idea how to reuse that just yet. Yeah, there's a smell coming off of this thing. myself a free microcontroller if it still works just have to remove it well that metal one too I've got the programmer for it so I can well you know program it as long as the chip hasn't been set up so it's a one use only basic components. I have no idea about antennas. I know this is going to be the base. I don't feel safe with this. Ooh. So there's a part number if anybody's interested. There's a 3,000. Well, I didn't rip any tracks out, but I'm throwing this thing out. I just don't feel safe having it around. So I guess this is a this, the destruction of this Hot Wheels, uh, well, thing, which is a real shame. It's just pressed together. <laughs> okay. Well, I guess this board will have to go in the box of stuff to pull apart when I can be bothered. Definitely want to try to reuse that chip. Huh. That's definitely going to be the program header. Be nice if I could reuse that. These two. So, power comes in through here what I can tell. So that's battery plus and minus. 
And that's over here. So 4.5 volts, huh, it's a bit of an irritant that was covered up. Switch one, switch two. I may have pumped too much, no, five volts. Should have been fine. Um, yeah, now you can see that on the screen. It's just at the bottom. Now I'll bring this up. So underneath this uh, glue here, literally just snot, uh, you've got a battery positive. You've got what looks to be 4.5 volts. No idea what these two are, but there seems to be two switches here. So I'm wondering whether or not this switch has two switches internally. So let's do some probing. Oh uh, wait, no I can't. I need some banana, well not banana plugs, but yeah. How irritating. So here's a good close up and it's not rocking around. With the board, and here is the other side of the board. Hmm. How interesting. Oh well, this video is a lot longer than I was hoping. I was actually hoping to have been able to reuse this thing, but because that's not going to happen, and the thing I hate the most, self-tapping screws. While I hate them, I am going to keep them, despite my best intentions. these in here for now. Might keep that LCD actually. So that stuff's definitely not going to be coming off. Ooh, the LCD lit up. Must have been some static electricity. Actually, that might be fun to probe. Probing an LCD. screwdriver
Well, that was disappointing, but anyway, that's how it goes. Still, it was kind of fun pulling that apart, seeing what was inside. Makes you wonder how much they would have saved if they'd used a no-name brand uh, microcontroller in it. Another one of those. Oh, we'll use the cheaper wipes. That's my multimeter. So it's interesting. I touched that and I must be... Well, these gloves must not be very anti-static then. So... Let's take a probe at this. Let's go for diode check. Oh wow. Ooh, I triggered something else. Actually, rather fun. I wonder if you're catching that. So this is the ground lead. Just slide it across slow. Alright, so that's no longer working, so maybe it does require this. I've never actually been able to play around with these before. Okay, that's definitely stuffed. <laughs> yeah, I know that. Yeah, I know that's definitely gone. Oh, well, that was fun though. Am 
Might just leave it on the bench to see what it does. So it turns out the gun requires 4.5 volts to operate. It's nominal. Uh, whether or not there's a battery, uh, some sort of regulator on this. So the battery comes in at the bottom, there's nothing there. Second input, there's just a bunch of capacitors. So, no resistors, sorry, there's some capacitors here that look like they're mostly for that. That could be a voltage regulator. This little tiny part here, underneath my thumb. Oh, it'll be fun to find out. Ooh, that's almost cleared up. Man, this thing is sensitive. be a really fun project if you could get one of these in a housing or something and play with. Huh. So, I can officially call this video a complete and total waste of time. Have fun!